Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To thee we come, O Lord, our God. our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice and now please make an examination of your conscience having confessed our sins to God and asking for his forgiveness, let us now recite the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed by my fault by my fault, by my own great fault, I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O God, you will again renew us. Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take away our sins from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. For when peaceful stillness compassed everything, and the night in its swift course half spent, your all-powerful word from heaven, royal throne, bounded a fierce warrior into the doomed land. Lord, 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The, the Lord be with you. God our Father, when your Son came into this world, you chose humble shepherds as the first witnesses of his incarnation. As we honor them, may we continue to proclaim his presence among us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Cheryl, would you pro proclaim the word today? Please be seated. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has proclaimed to the ends of the earth, say to daughter Zion, see, your savior comes, see his rewards is with him, his recom recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called cared for in a city not forsaken. This is the word of the Lord. The gradual. You are the most handsome of men. Fair speech has graced your lips. My heart is stirred by a noble theme, and I sing my to the king. Second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, I mean that as long as the heir is not of age, he is no different from a slave, although he is the owner of everything, but he is under the supervision of guardians and administrators until the date set by his father. In the same way, we also, when we were not of age, were enslaved to the element, elemental powers of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption. As proof that you are children, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord is King, robed with majesty. The Lord is robed, girded with might. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that they had been told that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Nyek bencha pafaloni Jesus Christus na veki vekuf. Amen. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. These words are taken from today's Holy Gospel, according to St. Luke. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, gathered in the name of Christ Jesus. Today, in the Polish National Catholic Church, we celebrate the solemnity of the humble shepherds. It is a most special day that we as members celebrate the shepherds who came unto that scene, the Nativity of our Lord. This solemnity was originally presented by our first Prime Bishop, the Most Reverend Franciszek Hodor, to the delegates that were gathered at the first special synod held in Scranton, Pennsylvania in August of 1906. This synod was to be the continuation of the first General Synod that was held in August of 1904. It is interesting that at this special synod, the first two solemnities of the Polish National Catholic Church were established. The Feast of Brotherly Love, which was to be celebrated every year on the second Sunday in September, and the Feast of the Humble Shepherds, which was to be celebrated every year on the first Sunday after Christmas. 
the Polish culture and history, steeped in tradition, established from its beginnings a midnight mass, which was dedicated to the shepherds. They call this holy mass Pasterka, or Mass of the Shepherds. The solemnity of the humble shepherds in the Polish National Catholic Church brings to its members the word humility. Now the word humility is defined as the quality of being humble. And the word humble is defined as having or showing a modest or a low estate of one's own importance. Throughout Holy Scripture, we see God using humble people who are also righteous unto him. In the Old Testament book of Proverbs, chapter 69, verse 32, we read, The humble have seen it and were glad. You who seek God, let your hearts revive. Those who gathered to hear Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, heard these first words spoken. Blessed are the humble in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. If there is one word that could be used to describe that first Christmas, it would be humble. Our Lord was not born in luxury, but rather in poverty. He was born in a stable, and his bed was a manger, a place where animals ate. His parents were, were not VIPs. Both Joseph and Mary were simple and humble people who devoted themselves righteously to God. God would choose Mary, a virgin, who some say she might have been young, as young as 14 years of age. And God chose Joseph to be her protector. In the entire story of his birth, our Lord first came to humble people, the shepherds, and throughout his ministry, to common people. And so today on this, the solemnity of humble shepherds, we ponder, as Mary did, the Christmas experience. We read in Luke, Now there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields and keeping night watch over their flocks. Shepherds, those who watched the skies in hope and anticipation of the coming of a Messiah. It should be noted that throughout Holy Scripture, God is portrayed as a shepherd unto his people. King David was a shepherd. And Jesus would later in his life, in his ministry, declare himself as the good shepherd. Through the grace of God, the message of the birth of the Messiah was announced by an angel to humble shepherds. They said, do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. 
the celebration of Christmas should bring to each of us great joy. For in his birth, we find our salvation. The shepherds were, that were guided came to the nativity and were the first witnesses on the day when the Lord became the Word made flesh. They were then to be the first missionaries to declare this great joy to others. We read in Luke. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, gathered on this, the solemnity of humble shepherds, God chose humble shepherds to spread the good news of the birth of Jesus, a message of love and peace. And he calls to each of us this day to be his witnesses in our own lives and to others, sharing the great joy that indeed the Messiah has come. You know, to truly understand this message, we all need to strip away all the decorations and the trimmings of Christmas and to focus on the simplicity of this crush. It is my prayer that in this new year of 2023, the true meaning of his humble birth may be rekindled in you, and that in your humility and righteousness before God, you may find true peace and joy, goodwill to all. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. 
let us pray. Please be seated. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Father, almighty and eternal God, this immaculate host, which I, your unworthy servant, offer you, my living and true God, for my countless sins, offenses, and omissions, for all here present, for our nation, as well as for all faithful Christians living and dead, and for all humanity, may it be for us a means to salvation and everlasting life. Lord God, you endued us with great dignity and worthiness. Through Jesus Christ, you exalted, renewed, and sanctified us. Through the mingling of this wine and water, may we worthily partake of this holy oblation in which our Savior gives himself as food for the world and in deepest truth unites himself with us. offer you, Lord, the cup of salvation in your mercy. Look upon your faithful people and accept this oblation of praise, petition, and adoration for our salvation and for that of the whole world. Amen. Lord, receive us who bow before you in contrition and humility and grant that the sacrifice be so offered in your sight as to be pleasing to you, Lord God. Come sanctify our almighty, eternal God and bless the sacrifice prepared for the glory of your holy name. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, men in whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity, redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground in the great congregation. I will bless the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the memory and remembrance of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they whose memories we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in your mercy, accept our gifts that we offer. By sharing in this Holy Eucharist, may we come to more fully live the love we profess. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, 
We do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. You showed us your great love by sending your only begotten Son to live among us. Today we honor those humble shepherds who were the first to hear and proclaim the glad tidings of the birth of Jesus, announced by the heavenly host. You strengthen and increase your church by calling men to shepherd your people and witness to the good news of salvation. And so therefore on this, the solemnity, we join with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. In our prayers, let us remember the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry and the homeless and unemployed. May we pray for all those who suffer from the coronavirus in its variants, as well as for the children suffering from the RSV syndrome. May we give God our thanks for the blessings of doctors, nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers. In our deepest prayers, let us pray for all abused and neglected children of the world, as well as all abused and neglected animals, and all victims of violence, both here and abroad. On this day, may we pray for peace. Peace for the people of Ukraine, as well as all those striving to live in freedom. May we give God our thanks for the blessings of all those who serve in our armed forces and pray that God through his angels would watch over, protect, and deliver them back safe and sound to their families. And may we pray for one another, for our friends and for our families. And Lord, may we pray for all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people, through Christ our Lord, amen. O God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which our high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel from your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, uh, and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done.
Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same. Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in us, living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Receive the body.
the needy will never be forgotten, nor will the hope of the afflicted ever fade. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, through this Holy Communion, may your steadfast love be with us. Before all others, you call the humble shepherds to give praise, honor, and glory to your Son at the stable in Bethlehem. We thank you that the poor, the humble, and the forgotten in the world are remembered by you. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, the one worthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found a life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made. Yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who are begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed loved ones, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.